My name is Joaquin Siwataneo, and I am a poet, a teacher, and a World Poetry Slam champion from Dallas, Texas. But more importantly, I'm a husband and a father of two daughters. And one in every three women will be a victim of violence at some point in their lives. As a father of two daughters, this statistic horrifies me. So I'm asking you to join me on February 14th as we rise and dance in honor of women. Celebrate the possibility of peace. Celebrate all that is sacred in us. On that day, we will let poetry drip from our lips, unclench our fists, and twist our hips in honor of peace. So join me and One Billion Rising on V-Day, February 14th, for this very significant movement. They asked me to recite a poem in honor of the day. This poem is called Elephant. It's for the mothers and daughters of Africa. Somewhere in Africa, an elephant will stand at the foot of a lifeless calf for six days before being forcibly pulled away by the herd. Exactly one year later to the day, that same elephant will return to stand and mourn into cane bones for another three days before once again being forcibly pulled away. This is more than metaphor. It, it happened. And I know nothing of what it is to lose a child. I know the image of this elephant and a lifeless calf happened on the other side of the world from me, but I know somehow I am connected to this. It was not long ago that the bodies of mothers and daughters fell from a waterfall in Rwanda by the thousands, how their arms and legs would fling about wildly as though raging against gravity. If you travel there today, you can visit a small school where the bones of 100 children slaughtered by Hutu soldiers still cower in each other's arms, the gray tattered garments giving way to the white beneath, not the skeleton but the soul without blemish. And I am reminded of the young student who raised his hand in my classroom and said, what do I care about Africa? We got our own problems here. And to you, young man, I say there is nothing more deserving on this planet of your pledge of allegiance than that of a dying child with outstretched arms. See, in my country, violence against women vides with monster truck racing for America's attention. And if I hear another one of those self-serving first-person perspective poems, I swear to you, the next time I touch a stage, I'm gonna scream, wake up. Wake up! Wake up! So tonight, I want to say something overtly poetic for the children of Africa. Something like, in Africa, they plant children in the ground and grow angels. This is more than metaphor. It happens. And somewhere in Africa, a mother will stand at the foot of a small white coffin for days before being forcibly pulled away by her people.